This is a video I have been trying to rock up the courage to make for months and months. How do I do it? What do I say? Where do I do it? Like, I just didn't really know where to start. Probably because it's not the most enjoyable video to watch. It's not the most enjoyable video to make. So I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to grab my camera, go somewhere nice that's just chilled and just talk just talk just get it done and see what happens so the first thing I want to say really to you guys is that I'm sorry for disappearing off the face of the earth I'm sorry that I didn't let anybody know what was going on I just didn't know how and I needed some time to just sort myself out I needed to take a step back completely disconnect from from everything really the last time I uploaded a video was nine months ago nine months ago dude and that was what was that hong kong no maybe at the face house i think nine months man that's a long time so the reason why i've been gone for so long is that i've just been like mentally in the worst place i've ever been in my whole life like my whole life grown up in and out of depression times where you feel amazing and on top of the world like you can do anything and then you just you just drop straight down into like this pit of hell where like everything is bad you know you wake up in the morning you don't want to wake up you don't want to get out of bed you don't have any urge to do anything and like that is just something that I've had most of my life I'm sure a lot of you guys have had it as well even though it doesn't seem like my life is bad and on paper I live the dream and i travel the world I got a nice car I got all these things that I'm sure you've heard it before but that stuff means absolutely nothing if you're not in the right place up here nothing can help you everything is up here and you know I've had depression like my whole life I've been in and out of depression but only just just little ones you know like little ups and downs you know you'd have a bad day here and there a bad week here and there but this one dude I just I didn't even know what to do like I just couldn't I couldn't do anything I'd wake up in the morning and I'd have no urge to get out of bed no urge to do anything but just to go back to sleep sleep away the time and maybe hopefully one day I'll wake up and feel good again but the thing that I learned is that that's not it you know you have to go out there and you have to sort yourself out it doesn't just fix itself you have to figure out what's going on in your head and really really fight it because it's not easy and it's not a nice place to be i had to disconnect from everything you know i stopped talking to people i stopped doing anything on online and really focused on myself and tried to figure out what was going on what i needed to do to get through it figure out i guess what i wanted to do because part of the reason why i feel like i was so depressed is, is that i wasn't entirely doing what I wanted or things weren't entirely the way I wanted them to be if that makes any sense so I had to step back figure everything out start making moves making progress and slowly get my life back to where it was or get my mood back to to where it was to be happy again and to not feel like absolute trash every day and here we are this is the first step I think in me getting back on track to to being happy again and getting my old urge to live back you know I used to be so driven and so inspired and so motivated to do cool stuff and it just disappeared and I, it was just such a deep hole that I had to get out of but I'm doing it I've, I've had some time off and I'm feeling a lot better now and I feel like the icing on the cake for me to to get back to back to normal is to really just start uploading videos again connecting with you guys more on like a personal level because I'm a human being, you know, I'm like a, I'm a real person that has emotions and has flaws and I feel like people put me on this pedestal where they're like, they put me in this superhero kind of position because of the stuff I do and as cool as that is in ways, I'm still a real human being and it, it almost makes me feel like I shouldn't have any problems and I should be like this perfect human being that everybody looks up to and admires and it's just difficult it's really difficult when you're in that position because all these feelings that you have inside that aren't always good ones just build up and build up and then you get to a point where you're like I just can't 
can't do this anymore and you need to disconnect from everything and really sort your shit out. So where have I been the past nine or 10 months? I spent, the last time I uploaded was in LA. I spent three months in LA with the FaZe guys. I love the FaZe guys. They are like my brothers, man. I wish, I wish I could live in LA and I wish that getting a visa wasn't such a pain in the bum hole, but it is. So I'm just gonna have to deal with that for now until I can figure out a way to get a visa. But if I could, dude, I would, I would move to LA in a flash. I love it there. I love all the people there. Most of my friends are there and it's just such a cool, inspiring, creative place to be. And I need to be around creative and inspiring people for me to stay sane. I feel like, you know, I need to be out there. I need to be traveling and moving around and interacting with cool, creative people and stimulating my brain because if I don't do stuff that is stimulating my kind of creative side and being physical and you know what I mean I just go absolutely <laughs> I just drop off and I get depressed and I get sad and I don't want to do anything anymore so I really just I just need to do some stuff and start killing it again because I miss it I miss being on the move all the time I miss being spontaneous I miss just just doing what I love and creating videos and exploring the world and climbing stuff and jumping around and all the usual kind of stuff that you guys know me for so i'm gonna get back to it asap after la i went to canada so while i was in la i met all the phase guys but i met uh the agony twins so kieran devon and they were like yeah you should come out to canada and, and hang out and play some computer games and stuff like that because they're like full-time streamers on twitch so i went home for like two weeks and then booked a ticket to Canada, went there, ended up basically just moving in and hanging out with those dudes, which was awesome. As awesome as that was going to Canada, meeting them, hanging out with them, meeting loads of cool people, I wasn't being creative and I, I feel like I wasn't helping myself get better. I was kind of just covering it up, you know? Playing a lot of computer games, dude. <laughs> Put on a bit of weight, which I've now lost most of, thank God. It's a proper little chubby bugger, man. Can't stand being chubby, dude. It does my head in. I feel so useless when I'm chubby, just because I'm so used to being in, a, in physically like great shape that where I can do what I want and move how I want, but if I put on some chubs, it's not a good thing. <laughs> spending time in Canada and spending time around people that stream computer games really reminded me how much I love computer games. Like For those of you guys that know me well and have known me for a long time and followed what I do for a long time, you'll know that I used to be like heavily into computer games when I was a kid. I used to love computer games when I was a kid. That was all I did. I should have been at school, but I was playing computer games at home. And that was my first real passion, the first thing I proper fell in love with. So it was amazing to kind of reignite that fire and just enjoy it. You know, I loved it. I loved it so much and I streamed for a little bit just to kind of test it out and see, see what all the fuss was about. The main thing I realized from that was that I want to stream. I just, I want to stream. I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. The coolest thing about it is that it's, it's live and it's there and like you guys can watch and we can interact like normal human beings and we can talk and we can hang out and that's just cool because it's so easy to forget that every person that follows me, all of those numbers, they're human beings and they're human beings that have lives and have emotions and all like you're just people. And that's crazy. When you think about how many people there is that follow me, it blows my mind that you even care, to be honest. So to be able to interact with you guys and talk with you guys and hang out while I play some games and shoot some people is just awesome. So I'll put a link to my Twitch account. You can uh, go check it out if you want. I've been absolutely destroying Fortnite recently. I'm completely addicted. Don't judge me, but I love it. So yeah, let's do it. One thing I've been thinking about as I've been kind of having some time off and chilling and thinking about stuff is I need some kind of plan, some kind of schedule with my life to stay sane, I think. I need some kind of idea of what I'm gonna be doing. I love being spontaneous and I love not knowing what's coming, but at the same time, I need some kind of plan or, you know what I mean? So my rough plan would be upload one video a week so a nice juicy video every week and then in between that stream games on twitch as much as i can uh so my month would kind of look like a week or two weeks of every month i'm traveling i'm going somewhere new i'm shooting some awesome stuff and then releasing one video every week or more if i can shoot more and then 
basically full-time streaming in between that. I feel like if I was doing that right now, I would be happy, I would be enjoying myself, and I would wake up motivated and inspired and be happy again. I'm, I'm all right, like I'm not super sad, but I just have days where I just, I just don't want to exist. You know, I don't want to do anything and it's not a nice place to be. So I really need to get my, get my life together and start killing it again because I've had enough of being sad. I've had enough of being depressed. Let's get back to the old James and get back to killing it. The last thing I want to say really is First of all, I'm sorry again, like I'm sorry for disappearing. I'm sorry I've, I don't respond to people's messages. Like That's one thing that I really want to start doing is just talking to you guys more. Like the amount of messages I get from people, people that are like, oh, James, I, I love what you do and thank you for inspiring me or whatever it may be, you know, people have problems that they come at me with and I never responded. And I was like, why am I, who am I to not respond to the people that allow me to live the life that I live. Like I wake up every day and I don't have to go to work at 7 a.m. I don't have to answer to anyone. I get to do what I want every single day and that is down to you guys, you know? I couldn't do it without you and I think I forgot that, to be honest. And I sound like an idiot for saying it, but I, I forgot that. And that was just, I feel like that was just so unhealthy for me. Like So many messages, man. So that's one thing that I definitely want to change. If you guys want to talk, send me a message. If you guys have got problems just like me, send me a message and let's talk about it. Oh, my camera died. Well, it didn't die, it overheated. The sun is out. So the camera is melting apparently. What else was I gonna say? Okay, the, the yeah, the last few days, I've been completely redesigning my website. I want to rebrand everything. I want to make everything fresh and new and cool. I wanted to start creating clothing that is badass, to be honest. I don't want to create merch for the sake of making merch and sake of like making some easy cash. I want to make stuff that excites me and inspires me and stuff that I personally would want to wear. So I'm gonna do that. Go check out the website. I'll put links to my Twitch and the website in the description. Obviously I make posters, phone cases, loads of other stuff. Clothing, I'm working on it. If you got any ideas, let me know. Get out of here. I think that's it. I think I've said everything I needed to say. And you know what? I feel better already just for talking about it. You know, it's good to talk about stuff. I just want to I want to be able to connect with you guys on a real human being level. So, this is a big step. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry it was a bit of a a bit of a downer on your day, but um you know what? We all go through bad times and if we didn't have bad times then we wouldn't have very good times so this is it we're doing it we're about to to kill it we're about to take a step forward and be happy let's do this let's do this